Did you know that the level of consciousness that you operate at determines every single thing in your life? It determines how you look at the world, how you look at other people, how you look at yourself. It determines whether or not you're happy. It determines whether or not you're scared. It determines whether or not you have courage. It determines everything. It determines whether or not you find solutions or whether or not you're creative or whether or not you're hitting walls all the time. And there are particularly four stages of consciousness. And it's if you are dealing with a lot of problems, if you are feeling like the world is just just knocking you down, knocking you down, and you're just getting it handed to you, okay? It's not your fault. It's your level of consciousness. It's not you, okay? It's like a relationship. Oh, no, it's not you. It's me. No, well, it's, it's not you per se. It's your level of consciousness. And I say that because when you change your level of consciousness, suddenly those things aren't happening anymore, okay? That's why I say it's not you. But you have to change it. Okay, other people can't change it. You have to change it. So, level one, level one, stage one of consciousness, the souls, the first two stages are basically the lower stages. They are fear based. They are fear based ways of living, fear based levels of consciousness. So, the first one is where life is happening to me. These type of people, when this happens, and I say these type of people, but when this happens, we feel like we are being a victim to people victims to situations and we feel powerless man these things are happening to me and i can't change it and it's so frustrating oh my god i need help i need you to help me out i can't seem to fix this problem on my own i just don't know what to do i feel so helpless so this state of consciousness is a very low vibrational state and when we're in that state it doesn't matter what we have it doesn't matter if we get a resource or we get someone to help us out or we get a new job or something changes if we stay in that level of consciousness we are always looking at ourselves other people and the events around us with that level of perception with that lens you know and it won't change we will still have the same way of looking at it even though outside things seem to be changing and that's because the inside the level of consciousness is where it's at okay what we need to do is we need to increase the level of consciousness, increase the vibrational frequency in our body. So this way we can rise up in a, in a level. So when we get to stage two, so many people operate in this stage. I operated in this stage pretty much most of my life until about four years ago. Okay, so I am very, very familiar with stage two and there are so many people out there, especially very successful people out there that are operating in stage two level of consciousness. Okay, this level is where life is happening by me. And that's the idea of I am creating all of this stuff in my life. I am creating this, I'm creating this, I'm creating this, I'm controlling everything. These type of people, when they're in that state of consciousness, they're controlling as many things as they can because they feel like if they don't control it, it ain't gonna happen. So they are controlling everything and they see everything as I do this and this happens. I do this and this happens. If I don't do this thing, this thing ain't gonna happen. So they see everything as this cause and effect like that, okay? So what that happens is it allows people to create what they want. They feel empowered. Oh, I've got the power to change things up. I am the one changing things up. And so they feel empowered to do things and they're driven to do things. And these people are successful. Many of these people, I mean, they make money, they've, they're entrepreneurs, they're changing the world. But here is the problem with that. They're still in this fear-based way of looking at themselves and looking at other people. They're still having resistance because let's face it, it's much harder, it's much more work to go ahead and try to control everything, okay? Instead of having things naturally flow if you want to go ahead and if you're if you see a river rushing down and you try to go ahead and control this river and direct it somewhere else can you do it well absolutely it's always done but it takes a lot of work wouldn't it be easier just to go ahead and let the river flow you know and figure out how to go ahead and let the river flow instead of trying to stop the river you know same thing with people it's much easier to go ahead and let someone do what it is that they want to do and what they enjoy doing than to go ahead and get them to force to do something that they don't like, but you want them to do it. And everything, and everything in life is like that. 
okay? And these type, and the people that are in this state of consciousness are constantly forcing their way. Now, it doesn't mean everything is being forced, but if it doesn't happen naturally, then they will force it because they don't trust that things will work out in another way. They see it as it has to work out this to this to this to this. It has to work out that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all I can to make sure it stays within the, in the lanes, right? It's like this, it's like it has to go A, B, C, D. So when we're at A, we gotta go to B. See, if it's not at B, we're gonna force everything to make sure it happens at B. And that is that level of consciousness. It's a lot of struggles, a lot of resistance, okay? That is why it's still a fear base, even though on the outside people are successful and they're, they're getting what they want, but they're not happy. They're not peaceful. A lot of resistance, a lot of struggle. So when they rise up above that now, they get the stage three of consciousness. Now this is where life happens through me. So in this stage, we are now getting into a love base, a love base consciousness, a trust base, a base where we are seeing the world with a lot more compassion now, and particularly with a lot more trust. In this level of consciousness, we understand that there is a higher power and we are not the one that's controlling everything. And we understand that we're here for a higher purpose and that we are part of a huge moving piece of orchestra, of symphony, as a lot of people would put it. A whole bunch of moving pieces and I am here as one and so are you and so are you and everybody else. And together, this whole thing is a dance. This whole thing is a play. This whole thing happens and we trust that whatever we need will be provided to us. Sometimes we know how it's gonna be provided and sometimes we don't. But there's this level of trust. There's this level of worry-free, you know? We know that it will happen. This is where people have faith. I don't know how this money's gonna come. I don't have the money for this mortgage, but I trust that it will show up somehow when the time is needed and if it doesn't, it's okay either. If I lose this house, it's okay either. Maybe it was supposed to happen. I'm gonna do all I can, but I trust that whatever needs to happen will happen, you see? So this level of conscious isn't where people are, are sitting back and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm not doing anything. Oh, law of attraction, everything's just dropping into my lap. Yeah, yeah, I don't, no, 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 it's not, it's not like that. A lot, of people get, a lot of people get carried away, you know? And no, it's not like that. People, no, you still take action. You still take action, but you're taking action in flow. You're taking action without so much resistance. If what feels good, you go ahead and do. You don't go ahead and try to force everything, you know? If people don't wanna do something, you just let it be. You know, there'll be somebody else that would. If this thing isn't gonna happen, and so much struggle to make it happen, you let it, you let it go. If this opportunity looks like it's just, just problems, you let it go because you know that you're not here to force and that there are other paths in life and you trust that there's a higher power that's guiding everything. Okay, so that is stage three. A lot, and there's not resistance, it just flows. It's easy, life becomes really easy. Things come to you with ease and grace, okay? So now when we get to level four, this is where it gets interesting, okay? Really, really interesting. Your level of consciousness is really, really high. Your energetic frequency is really high. And at this stage, not only do you know you're here for a higher power, that there's a higher power, you're here for a purpose, but there is no more you and other people. You and other people now combine into one. There's a sense of oneness now. So now when we look at a person, when we look at an animal, when we look at, look at a tree or something or plants, we now can feel everything. We feel, we have compassion. We act and, and live with a sense of compassion for all living beings and all things. And in, that, in this energetic frequency, there is so much love animating from us that it pours out of us and our actions are compassion. Our, our perception is not so much of separation as this is my thing, this is your thing, or I'm doing this for myself and you're doing this. There is no I and you, there is only combined together. We are now seeing it in a oneness format to where Whatever I do affects you, whatever you do affects me, so I want what's best for you, you know? I want what's best for you, I want what's best for everybody because I know we are all together. If something is good that happens to you, it will, happen, it will be good for me. If I help this thing here, then it will be good for me and so therefore there is no separation, okay? And that 
thinking is not even there. Nobody is even sitting there trying to decide and go, if I help you, then it's gonna help me. There is no me in there anymore. That's where we get into this oneness consciousness. It's a very, very high vibrational frequency. So for most people, they're operating either out of stage one or stage two. If you get to stage three, it's like a world of a difference already. Life is so wonderful and you will feel so happy. And then from there, if you want to move on in your spiritual journey, if you want to move on and you want to really want to hit the pinnacle, then there are so many other things that will now cultivate you to that next level. And at the next level, it's like, you know, words can't explain it. So now that you know, energy frequency is the most important thing that governs everything in our life. And there are so many things that we can do to increase the level of frequency in our bodies so we can increase the level of consciousness that we live in. If you are operating in a low consciousness and you're hearing this video right now, you're watching this and you realize this is what's happening, you're not going to be able to, to think your way out of it. Okay? You may realize this is happening, but you're not going to think your way out. Because to think your way out is saying that you are having to, you are moved up in a level of consciousness now. That's where you're able to think your way out and you can't, okay? Not that way. The way to go ahead and be able to level up in your level of consciousness is to change the frequency in your body, okay? That is what I found one of the most effective ways. Now, it doesn't mean you don't change the way you think. You still change the way you think, but it is so difficult to go ahead and change thinking when thinking itself is the one that is creating so much issues in our life. All problems are just in our mind. All of this judgments and all of this worries and fears and this nonstop chatter in our head. So the last thing we want to do is to go ahead and have more thinking. What we're going to end up having is this debate in our mind. Okay. So the best thing, the fastest thing to do is to change the frequency in your body right away. Moving that energy around in your body. Movement changes the energy okay that's why when you go ahead and exercise you feel better if you go ahead and go for a jog if you go ahead and move get up and walk around people go for a walk walking is one of the most basic and simplest ways to move energy and when you do that you automatically feel better okay so start doing that and so you can start to move your energy and then think about what it is that i'm saying and start to wrap your head around it but don't try to wrap your head around it if your energy frequency is really low and you're in the problematic space. Get out of that space by moving the energy first. Okay? Then start to look at how your thought patterns are and start to see where you can change disempowering beliefs and change them to be more empowering. So now you can see through a different lens. See, go into a different level of consciousness. Thanks, guys.